All right, guys, I picked up another PC, as you can see. Now it's pretty ugly, but it's actually decent. Picked it up for 200 bucks. You can guess the specs or you can just swipe right and actually get the specs. Yeah, guys, try to guess it if you want to. Here we are, don't mind the mess, but we have quite a bit going on. But anyway, have you guessed the specs? Well, the specs are i5-6600, GTX 1060, 3 gigabyte, a nice Corsair PSU, 16 gigs of RAM, PSU, HDD, and a case that we will just throw in the garbage. So yeah, we'll just clean this one off and get it properly done. Look at how bad it was mounted, but yeah, we'll get into it. Here we are with this computer now. Today, we are taking care of it because, you know, it has been winter for a while. It's actually still kind of winter and we haven't been using the water quite as much. So this one is really dirty and we will be rebuilding it. So we just give it a shot. As you can see, we've been handling it, it properly. And now it's time to get on with it. Seems pretty nice. Is it satisfying? <laughs> Getting a bit closer. Do, do, do the power supply from behind properly. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay, okay. Seems pretty good so far. Now it's like that, we can like dismount a couple things and drive it to the right for a sec. Give me a second. I wanna just take off the CPU cooler so that we can water the CPU properly. Just water, oh damn, that, that thermal face sucks. Great hard run to it. Ah, that's nice. Ah, it's very difficult to come out. You can just tell it's kind of soft, but yeah. Let me take the RAM out. Ah, that's nice. Ah, shit. Okay, spray them. Okay, guys, now here we are today. This mountain a PC while it's being watered. Let's get into it. First thing, the CPU cooler. Water it down in the meantime. Then we have the GPU. Okay. Oh, this one has some clips. And then we can just... Oh, wow, look, look at this. They haven't even screwed the GPU in. There, there are no screws on the GPU. Look, we can just pull it out like that. Just unscrew this. Take the cables out. Very gently, remember. Always be gentle. And then you can just bring it out. Wait, for, I don't want to what is this one okay and here is our gpu look at how pretty she is yo by the way how about we water it ah that's nice to do the side too seems pretty all right those gaming access cards are pretty good just gotta keep them clean they will work for quite a bit of time <laughs> okay now it looks like we forgot the battery now that's not really good but hey, mistakes happen. Anyway, um, I really hope the motherboard isn't dead. But anyway, um, let me dismount the rest so we can just... This guy! He did not even screw in the motherboard! We have like two screws holding the motherboard. I mean, who built this one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me just unplug all those things. Okay. There's quite a bit of them. Hold up. And then we can unscrew the very few screws. Okay, so here we have one apparently. We can just throw it away. And then here we have another one. And I think there aren't many others actually. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. The guy put in three screws. Wow. I mean, he really took a lot of effort into it. Now, let's water this one down. I will leave it to you. Okay, now we water down this uh, hard disk and now we want to see if it still works, okay? So I am dismounting it, then it should slide right back. Ah, Jesus. Okay. okay, now here's the serial, you can check it so that you can see that it's actually this power supply. We, we can also water it down a bit more if you want to. 
just to make sure that we get the water all inside it okay okay and then now we will let it dry and come back and boot it and see if it boots okay so stay tuned okay now here we are after the preliminary watering now this case is gonna get thrown away oh she's getting ahead of it she's, she's kind of glising apparently the watering okay okay take initiative i see okay okay but anyway while she waters the psu <laughs> uh let's get back to us so this one we're gonna probably throw it away uh, but those ones are gonna go in the new case so we're just gonna clean them and then put them in a new case of course changing the thermal paste in the gpu and that can call that thermal paste it really sucks um and then again make a new pc out of this and just sell it for a little profit let's get back into it with everything cleaned up okay now here we are with a new meta now we just water down all this stuff and now as Brian from Tech City does, we're gonna use some brake cleaner to disperse the water, okay? So the motherboard has a ton of like paste on it. So we will just slap it in a place that's a little bit better and then just brake clean it hard. So let's see it go. As you can see, it really does wonders on the thermal paste. Look at how much paste there was. cleans it right out okay there's a lot of like dirt in here but all right and then this also helps protect the components okay now we are taking out the cpu oh boy you don't really want to come out which is actually really clean now let's inspect the pins okay those are good so here the motherboard is fine and now this is gonna help it stay that way okay since the guy smoked a lot on this computer and also look he still has the sticker but we will take out later uh, to get rid of all the uh, smell we're gonna brake clean it even just for that this one does wonders guys you can use whatever brake cleaner you have they really work um, let's just spray it inside okay we we have nearly finished the brake cleaner so we have to do a different way like this i don't know if you can see it properly but okay that's nice and now a little spray on the cables just a quick one perfection we're just letting them dry and basically we're gonna leave them there for a while then put them on some paper towels um, and then use the data bucket to get some of the water out, but we're basically done. Time to get some of the water and uh, the brake cleaner out. Okay, now here we are after the watering, as you can see the hard drive is working, the GPU is working, we haven't opened it up to re replace it yet, um, the RAM is working, the power supply is working, but of course we are at time watering PSU, so, you know, of course the power supply is working, and now we have it with a Ryzen system, but we also have here like the CPU and the motherboard, which are also working, oh, of course we also have the case, we're gonna throw it away because I don't like it. Seems good, as always, you can water down stuff. Just remember to do the proper procedure to uh, dry it up properly, because if you don't, you'll break your hardware. Here we are after letting the disk dry up. As you can see, it's plugged in properly. We don't have any hidden hard drives and it's working. It's a volume E, it's probably working now. Let me show you the serials, just to make you able to double check it if you want to. Those are the serials. And yes, you can water down a hard drive without breaking it. Hard drives are sealed because they like you can't get dust in them. So they resist water pretty well. You just have to let the circuit dry up properly. 
and it's gonna work fine now here we are with this budget build what we have here is a ryzen 5 3500x which was broken but we fixed 16 gigs of ddr4 a gtx 1060 3 gigabyte gaming x a 1 terabyte hard drive 120 gig ssd 650 watt corsair power supply and a brand new case you might wonder how much did i pay for this well 120 for the motherboard and cpu and then all the rest i got it in a combo for 200 and then the case for 30 so if you add it all up it's like 340 or something which is not too bad let's get into building it oh and by the way for this pc she's building it i'm not actually saying anything so we will see if it will boot up at first try